Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hi, um, yeah, I'm pretty nervous about this video. I probably shouldn't be, but I really am. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new here, I'd love for you guys to stick around, so make sure you subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. I make two videos a week and they're all about fashion, beauty, travel and lifestyle. So if that's the sort of things that you guys are interested in, make sure you subscribe. I'm just gonna get into this because basically I've done something that I never thought I would ever, 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 ever do, but I've done it. So I just wanna talk a little bit about it. I actually vlogged parts of this, but I thought I would do it as a sit down video as well and kind of incorporate the two into one longer video. As you can read from the title, obviously, I have had a non-surgical nose job and for those of you who don't know what that means is it's filler into your nose and uh, the reason behind this is because I've got a slightly hooked nose and it's something that has always been there but it's never been that sort of it's never been that deep to be honest like it's it's always been there. I've always had it I've always known I've got quite a long nose and it hooks to one side as that's how I describe it. But obviously when I went and I've spoken to numerous different people, one of them said to me, I have got a Roman nose, which is one of the most beautiful noses apparently. And another one said to me that she can see where I think it's a hook, but it's not actually a hook. So these are all issues that I have grown up with and kind of come to terms with it. And if I'm honest with you guys, I love my nose. I think it suits my face and I, I love the length of it and I love it from the profile. I think, I think it's a lovely nose, but I never would take a photograph from this side because I always felt like my nose hooked. I don't know why I always do that. I felt like my nose had a larger hook on that side. So I'd always take my pictures from this side. And if you go to my Instagram, you will see it at Terrell Atalan. All of my poses are to that side because I feel like my nose looks a lot nicer like that or from straight on. When it came to options, I've always been one who's been against plastic surgery, not towards anyone else, because honestly, whatever you want to do is up to you. But personally for me, I am a wimp and I'm extremely scared of surgery. My mum, unfortunately, has had to go through many, many different surgeries because of her back problems. And seeing her coming out of those surgeries and stuff and knowing how serious those operations were, I would never put myself in that risk because I feel a little bit insecure about my nose. That's just how I see it. And I mean, other people, their insecurities may be a lot more or they might not be as scared as me. So if that's what someone wants to do, by all means, do your research and then go for it if that's what you want. But personally for me, I knew that was not the right choice and it's not what I wanted to do. And at the end of the day, I always wanted my nose to still be my nose. I just wanted to tweak it a little bit so it still looked like me and I didn't have to sit an operation really. So I found out about non-surgical nose job three years ago and I've always kind of toyed with the idea. The doctor had done an, a live demonstration on this woman, the three point nose injection they called it. So they inject here, here and the tip here and I was transformed. I was like wow in 15 minutes her nose went from one to the other and the recovery is just instant really and the results are instant as well there's no bandages there's nothing and i thought oh okay cool i'm gonna be honest with you guys and say that my treatment was complimentary but it changes nothing this is something that i've gone to many many different clinics all in exchange for free treatments and i've always walked away because i never felt comfortable with the doctor but i went to regent's park aesthetic clinic and i saw mariam and she just made me feel at ease instantly and i actually went with my mum so that she could do some videos with me and my mum was even more nervous than i was and she calmed my mum down as well and yeah, it, it was it was really, really good and it just felt right. So when I saw Mariam, first thing she asked me was, what do I want improved on my nose? And I was telling her about the hook and everything. She explained to me all of the benefits and all of the side effects that could happen. And side effects really freaked my mum out. But honestly, compared to an actual nose job, the side effects are like 
ridiculously low compared. I really thought we were just going in for a consultation, but I felt so relaxed and I was like, yeah, let's let's just go for it. So she put some numbing cream on me and then she started injecting. I'm gonna insert some of those clips for you guys now. If you do not like injections, skip through it or stop watching because there's a lot of injections going on. Hi guys, don't know how to start this video, but I'm gonna be going up to a clinic in London and we're gonna be having a consultation about injecting fillers into my nose. I'm also bringing my mum with me because I can't do anything without my mum's opinion. Like I, I need to always talk to her about anything that I find quite large. And for me, this is a very, very big thing. I've always been very, not insecure, but I've always known that my nose is not nice from a certain like I hate my nose from this angle but I don't mind it from this one really weird so I quite like the shape of my nose it's just from certain angles that I don't like it it's never been the sort of nose or it's not that insecurity where I'm like oh my god I can't go out I can't do this because of it it's never hindered me or anything but I feel like it does need a few little tweaks just to kind of make it look a little bit more symmetrical. I do like my nose, I just wanna put it out there. It is a disclaimer. I do like my nose, it's just my nose. It is what it is. Like if I was to change my nose, I wouldn't look how I am. Just wanna see if this is an option for me or not. It might even be an option for me and then I back out from it because I realise I don't really want to do it, but I'm an absolute wimp, so for me this is like a very, very big decision. I know that a lot of people also have the same issues that I have, and they don't know that there are other options other than an actual surgery. Granted, this is more of a upkeep, whereas a nose job is a one-time fee and you get it done and then that's it. Whereas this is, you constantly have to top it up because obviously it is filler, and your body dissolves filler. Yeah, we're just gonna go out and see what happens. I'm so nervous, it's ridiculous. Okay, so we've just arrived and I'm feeling really nervous. I don't know what to expect. Do I look good? <laughs> just got that anesthesia on now and then we're gonna inject it. Lifted. You said it was a bit hooked. Is it hooked? Or is no. It no. Well, no, exactly. But I know what you mean when mm. you say that. So that will be a bit difficult to do without Botox. Mm. That's it. Relax. Finish, finish. Relax, 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 relax. Your face completely. Relax. Relax. Uh, nearly finished. So what I'll do is Botox takes two uh, weeks to work and I'm not going to inject this bit mm. until Botox has worked and lifted the tip. So I have to come back to see you in two weeks, okay? Was it Botox that? Yeah. <laughs> I think the first injection to the tip of the nose as well. There's yeah. a few tears coming yes. down. Yes. So we went in for a consultation and came out with a new nose. <laughs> I think mum almost fainted in there. Are you afraid of needles? No. Then why? Because it's gone into you. 
but we're gonna come back in two weeks we can put some Botox at the bottom here and we're gonna wait for it to relax the muscles and lift and then we'll be back in two weeks just to make sure that everything's fine for the next 10 hours I have to be very very careful with my nose just so that all the filler stays in the right position and it doesn't move around pretty happy to be honest so far so yeah that was pretty intense wasn't it so about the procedure i was injected quite a lot here and in the tip and those are the main areas that kind of needed to be done for me just to create a line what cosmetic fillers in the nose does is it is all about creating angles and shapes and getting rid of any indents and technically it does make your nose bigger but because of the way that they angle it and massage it into place and everything it makes it look a lot more refined and a lot more contour even without contour i feel like my nose just looks so much better and i'm just so happy with it honestly and she also added a bit of botox underneath here and what botox does is it relaxes the muscles and it helps push your nose higher for it to create a little bit of an indent here so that they can also go back and fill that in so she injected the botox at the end and that was the most painful part of it i mean the other injections they slightly hurt but the botox and anything into the tip was really really painful once the needle was out there was no pain whatsoever and for those two weeks i saw a bunch of friends my brother, my dad, my boyfriend, no one noticed. I didn't want to tell anyone because I wanted to see if they could notice. And that kind of made me feel like, okay, no one has paid any attention to the way that my nose looks. All of the insecurities were from within and it had nothing to do with what people would see as well. And so that kind of made me feel a little bit better and it kind of made me feel good that it's done and it looks still really, really natural. Two weeks later, she went back, she filled in the dent for me and it was just as easy as that. I'm really, really happy that no one actually noticed. So this is a few of the clips from the second part of it as well. Two weeks later, we're back to Regent's Park Aesthetic Clinic to look at my nose and see if this bit has lifted slightly. I think it has. And we're just going to make sure that the filler has all settled properly and we're happy with the outcome. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. Squeezing my hand more than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, more than you. Stop <laughs> making me laugh, guys. <laughs> Isn't it the last one? <laughs> yeah, I'll blame that one. I'll blame on you. Sorry, I know. Yeah, I had a three point non surgical. So I initially thought three point meant the injection was just going to go in three times, but I was so wrong about that. That means that they will inject in three different areas, but the injection will be going in a few times and she's sure that that is so much better because that way they take the injection out and they massage it and have a little look and see if it needs more and if it doesn't this is my nose a month after my initial appointment so two weeks after my last one and i couldn't be happier because no one has noticed and i just feel like i can take pictures from this side feel so much more confident and so much more happier about it as well. And I know to so many people, it's like you just had a bit of filler, like it's not that big a deal. But for me, I've never had any injections. The only thing I've ever done in my life 
is tattoo my eyebrows and that's literally the only cosmetic procedure I've ever had done. Like I don't go to the extremes, that is not me. But I feel like this is really, it's such a big deal for me. I'm so happy with the results. Honestly, I'm so, so, so happy. And I kind of regret not doing it earlier. I will insert some before and after pictures. These pictures are really bad, but you can really see the difference between them. And the treatment is supposed to last between 18 to 20 months supposedly as far as I can remember. If I find any more details I will write that all down in the description box. I will also link the clinic that I went to for you guys but this is a big but. I just want to do a massive disclaimer. I'm not encouraging anyone to go and get any plastic surgery or fillers or anything done. This is something that you kind of have to think about a lot. For me, this is a very, very big deal. <laughs> I don't want to encourage this for everyone and I just want people to be happy with the way that they are. And this is just something that I wanted to try out, see if it was something that I liked and just go from there. And now that I've had it, I can say that I'm so much happier that I did do it because it's something I wanted for a very, very long time. But like I said, if this is something that you guys want to do, make sure you do your research, make sure you find out about the side effects, make sure you are 100% happy with the person that will be doing your procedure because I went to a few places and I wasn't happy and that's why it's taking me over three years to go through with it. So it's not something that I would recommend doing overnight. Think about it if it's something you really, really want to do. But I would just say go and talk to a few different doctors, find one that makes you really, really comfortable and really happy and go from there. I will write down all the costing down below for you guys if you're interested. I will also link Dr. Miriam from Regent's Park Aesthetics Clinic down below for you guys. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy and scared to get it done because what will other people think? And do people think that I'm only getting it done because I'm into blogging now and I'm on Instagram and stuff? And not really it's really it's really nothing to do with anyone else because like i said i've seen all of my friends no one has noticed my own family my dad and my brother didn't notice and they're people that see me every day so it's not for everyone else this is for myself and I, I want to be open and honest with you guys and just show you that there is always another option. You don't have to go down the surgical route. It's a lot cheaper. Yes, you have to get it done regularly. Like it is an, a cost thing. For me, the risk was so much less and I, I just couldn't put myself through a surgery. Yeah, I had a big nose. So I just feel like I came to that point, like I'm 26 years old now. I came to that point where I'm like, you know what? I love myself and this is something that I want to do. Yeah, that is my story. I feel like my voice has gotten really like crackly because I'm like so excited about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I hope you guys have enjoyed it honestly because I've been really, really nervous to share this online, but I thought I just have to do it and I have to show you guys and I just always want to be open and honest. Yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.